my parents were told they couldn't have any more kids anymore. Uh, and then my dad always wanted another one. He always wanted one more. And then my mom found out she's pregnant with me. And my aunt was saying how my dad's always called me his little miracle. Deanna Armstrong was daddy's little girl, and it seemed she could do no wrong. I'd say I had the perfect, the perfect relationship with both my parents. When I was young, I was my dad's favorite. Deanna was used to getting what she wanted as she got older. Her natural flirtatious ways got the attention of the boys at school. But there was one in particular that got her attention. Ryan was my first serious relationship throughout my whole high school years. No one liked him, period. First of all, my dad got into the whole protective mode. You know, that's my daughter, you know, watch out. But nobody, no one gave him a chance. He comes from drugs, he comes from jail, he comes from living on the streets, going from place to place to place. No one really liked Ryan. I could see where her family was coming from. I was just coming off drugs. Um, I'd maybe been clean a couple years. Despite his issues, Deanna saw something in Ryan that no one else could. He was different. He was funny, you know, he was, we'd joke around differently. Ryan and I could talk for hours and we wouldn't get bored of each other. Their relationship quickly became physical and at age 16, Deanna found out that she was pregnant. I remember just bawling, like, you're gonna be so mad at me. You're gonna hate me, you're gonna this, you're gonna that. Uh, my dad was really, really disappointed. You know, he was really, really upset, as any dad would be. You know, I'm 16, I haven't graduated high school yet. I haven't gone to university yet. I haven't done anything that I could have with my life yet. So they were really upset. They both told me to have an abortion. It seemed like Deanna was not only being pressured to have an abortion by her parents, but everyone else in her life as well. And I remember the nurse, and this is what bothered me the most. The nurse who had um, told me, yeah, I was pregnant, she sat and she kept t telling me, you should have an abortion, you're young, you're young. You know, here's the book, call me tomorrow, we can schedule a day, we can schedule a time. She hadn't even talked with me about it, I, she just assumed. People would still send me messages on Facebook, or they'd email me, or they'd call me, and it would just, the, every day it would constantly be, have an abortion, have an abortion. My parents were always no sex before marriage. You know, that was a big, big thing for them. They had said to me, you can't be here if you're pregnant. And I think a part of that was because they wanted me to have an abortion so bad they think I'd cave, like where else am I gonna go? That's when Deanna heard about Wings Maternity Home, a nonprofit faith-based, safe home for young women in need of a loving and nurturing environment during and right after their pregnancy. She called the home's founder, Marion Cousins. I packed my stuff and I called Marion. I remember walking into this house and everyone here was amazing. Marion understood where I was coming from. I wasn't coming from the background that all the other girls were coming from. I wasn't coming from group homes, I wasn't coming from CAS, I wasn't coming from a jail, I wasn't coming from prostitution or drugs. You know, Marion knew the kind of upbringing that I had. She knew, you know, the kind of person that I was. So she understood that it was, it was different for me. I just needed to be loved. During the duration of their stay, one thing is asked of the girls, that they go to church. So Deanna started going and immediately she felt the love of God. The love that you feel as soon as you, I don't even say you walk into the building, as soon as you get into the parking lot, it's just, it's life changing. It's, and then walking in and you know, you have your worship and your service and it's like something different takes over and it, it's great. You know, you can't even put it into words. She even convinced her boyfriend Ryan to go with her and their relationship started to change because I've accepted Jesus into my life. Uh, those, those bad qualities in my, my past have gone. Definitely made me a better man. Today, they are happily married with two beautiful children. My little one, the newest one, he's a month old. His name is Gavin. And my oldest one, who's a year and a half, his name is Nathan. Deanna has also returned to school in pursuit of a college degree. God is great. 
God is good and God is there for you all the time. And I feel like it's hard to explain God to, I don't want to call them non-believers, someone who doesn't know God yet. God loves you, just like Marion did with all of us. God loves you. You might not know God yet, but God's known you and God has a plan for you and God loves you.